Hi, I'm Tegan. I'm Sarah. And today we're going to play a game of song association with Elle. We're going to be given a word, and we have 10 seconds to come up with a song that has that word in it, and then we have to sing it or rap it or do a spoken word with an improv dance. But before we get into it, I want to take a second just to tell you that Sarah and I have a new album. It's called Cry Baby. I think it's one of our best records ever. And we also have a TV show. We do have a TV show based on our memoir called High School. It's out on Amazon now. It's about our time in high school, which was like five minutes ago. Yeah, it was just like a couple years ago that we graduated high school and then they made a show about us already. <laughs> when I read the instructions for this, I thought we probably would do okay. But now that we're sitting here in the chairs, I think we'll probably not do super awesome at this, but maybe it's just because I'm very bad at karaoke and this feels like um, karaoke adjacent. We're about to find out. <laughs> I'm ready. When I'm feeling blue, dun dun dun, I haven't heard love yet. Dun dun in my arms. Wouldn't you agree, baby, you and me, we got a groovy kind of love. Wow, pulled it off. I just had to like, it's hard to work backwards. I had to sing the whole as much as I could remember. I've expected you to sing it with a little more, like, you know. I'm not really a song a singer. It's more like a Millie Vanilli situation where there's some other people who sing our songs, but, you know. Me. Yeah. I'm the other person who sings our songs. <laughs> <laughs> rain. Blame it on the rain. Yeah. <laughs> We're really showing our age here. <laughs> Millie Vanilli. That's also, is that also Millie Vanilli? No, it's not also Millie Vanilli. No, Groovy kind of loves oh, Phil Collins. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Millie Vanilli is blaming on the rain. Blame it on the rain. That people are gonna think that that was fed to us, but I, just randomly, heart. Oh well, we have a song called Nineteen. I felt you in my legs before I ever met you, and when I lay beside you for the first time, I told you I feel you in my heart. If someone ever you just met lays down with you and tells you that they feel you in their heart, make an excuse to go to the bathroom and get the hell out of there. Ghost. I was walking with a ghost. I mean, has anyone ever written a song with ghost except for me? Yes, actually. Um, Lil Yachty did. It was called uh, running, oh, running with a Ghost. With a ghost and then we didn't, it went like this. It went like this. I was running, running with, with a ghost. And so then we had to write them and say, that's our song. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Nothing but love, though, for Lil Yachty. Yeah. Actually, I was just grocery shopping in... Vancouver, up in Canada, and I, all of a sudden, I was like, what is this song? It's so familiar. It was Walking with a Ghost, and I was like, this feels so embarrassing. Like, I don't know why I don't often hear my music, like, in just regular life. I think it still sounds amazing. 2004, that song sounds like it could have come out yesterday. It was like our first, that was our first big hit. It went on to alternative radio. It was very exciting. It changed our band, like, overnight. You know, when we signed our record deal, we were 19. I don't think people really took us that seriously. And so I feel like we had to, like, prove ourselves. And we went out on the road for, like, five years. And then and then that song just did so well. And then the White Stripes covered it. And that was, like, then people were like, okay, this is legit. Well, then we spent the rest, like, the rest of that decade having people say, what made you want to cover that White Stripes song, Walking with a Ghost? <laughs> that didn't happen that often. That on. It happened a lot. It did. <laughs> Trust me, it happened a lot. Yeah. It's a, cool, it's a good song. Stay. Stay. I'll leave you in the morning anyway. Tegan is just continu she can only think of Tegan and Sarah's songs. It actually makes me feel really <laughs> sad for her. Um, okay. Uh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare's Sister. Wow. Great song called Stay. Sing it. Um, it's like... Um, Ten seconds. Hold on. G <laughs> it's okay. You got, I got no, it. I got it. You better hope and pray, pray. that <laughs> there's some love's lesson in my own world. Stay, stay with me. That's how it like that. goes. Yeah. yeah. You guys Huge look hit. it up. It's amazing. Everyone watching this is like, oh, that song. It's Stay by Shakespeare's sister. It's real good. It is a really good song. It's a horrible stay version of it, but with me. it's out of your range. Hands down, the most challenging experience I've ever had in the studio was cutting the vocals for a song called Everything Is Awesome. The song was in a movie uh, called Lego Movie, and I flew to LA and I recorded it with Mark Mothersbaugh, who's in a band called Devo. And the um, film studio that was making the movie, they wanted four different versions in four different tempos in four different keys. And it was they had booked me for two hours, and the song is not even meant for a human to sing. And it was very stressful. 
but we got through it. I left my body. I basically don't even really remember recording the song because I was like, this is so stressful, I'm gonna let everybody down. And I couldn't believe that Sarah wasn't there. She was in Montreal and she just got to like phone her vocals in herself from her own studio. I was in New York. Whatever. Hello. Hello. It's me. Is that how the Adele one goes? N not really. Um, but that counts. I mean, you used it in it. I mean, the fact that you're tone deaf is troubling, but how, how does I don't the chorus think... go? <laughs> does she say hello? Because the song's called Hello. Does she say hello a lot in the chorus, or is it just hello off the top? Hello, it's me. I think she just says it off the top. I don't know. How does the chorus know. go? Um, hello from the other side. I must have called, called a million times. times. Such a good sense. Stay, does that song say stay as well? <laughs> it might. No, I don't actually have a We're getting confused. Yeah. Close. Don't stand so close to me. Okay, the, the police. police. Great. God, I feel like, is this like a, did <laughs> our managers or our wives put you up to this? Is this like a cognitive, like, dementia exam? Like, I'm like, a little bit, I'm scared. Obviously, when we first started our band, in some ways we were still fans of music. We were we were avid listeners of music. We were still kind of part of an audience, I guess you could say. And so I think, in some ways, my relationship to music has really changed. And it's not, it it's really rare actually that I can just sort of like, like listen to music without like th I guess like thinking about it. I, and I know that sounds kind of strange, but like so much of our of our consumption of entertainment is really joyful and, and a release and and a way to kind of, I guess, maybe check out a little bit from life and our jobs and our stressors. And in some ways, music is my stressor. <laughs> it's like the thing that I um, that I think about all the time. So I actually feel like trying to find a way to like tap back into music and be a music lover and a fan is is like the is the ongoing challenge for me. Good. We have a new song on our uh, new album, Cry Baby, called Pretty Shitty Time, and the chorus is, never been good enough. And then I have a song called Where's the Good Go, which is, where does the good go? Where does the good go? You could show this video to like a classroom of students or like strangers and be like, what do you think they do for a living? And they'd be <laughs> like, I don't know, not music. <laughs> or if you like gave them multiple choice and they were like, an accountant, magic, a, a doctor, a musician. I think out of those options, automotives. People, like, <laughs> no, I think out of those options, people would clearly decide we're musicians. I think we like like what doctor is gonna wear a a designer sweater with teddy bear fuzzy teddy bears on it? Like a pediatrician. <laughs> sure, got me there. Act, act. It's not singable, really. Don't act. It's kind of an ugly word. That's what I'm saying. It's like kind of harsh. Do you know a rap with act in it? No. Do you know any raps? Uh, I know some raps. I woke, no, I pulled up to a house about seven or eight, and I, that doesn't have act in it. No. I think we ran out of time. I think this is the one we couldn't do. You act like a fool. No. Million. These are all from Tegan and Sarah songs, right? Like, that's what you do is you just troll our lyrics so that if all else fails, we can just use one of our songs. A million hours left to think of you and think of this. Calm down, I'm calling you to say. There's got to be a song with million in it that isn't ours. What about there's that, I would walk a billion miles just First of all, what is happening? Every song is from between 1984 and 1991 that we can recall. If we can recall something, it's from when we were five years old to nine years old. It's like that was the last time our brain opened the vault What's to that let song? Does it say in. a million miles? No. It's the Proclaimers. I would walk 500 miles. Oh, 500. Miles. It was in Benny and June. Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. But not a million. Well, we already got a million. It was in my song. The 19. Con. Oh, the con. It's my column again. <laughs> Friend. Call your girlfriend, tell her, dun, 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 cause you, you found somebody new. Call your girlfriend by Robin. I don't think you needed to go that far. Yeah, and we've got like, call your girlfriend, you treat me like your boyfriend. We got that song. I couldn't be your friend. That's another one of our songs. And what's that song about high school? Vitamin C? So, that was like a big 90s song. I don't know what you're talking about. No, an early 2000s song. 
Yeah, you do. Everyone knows the song. You play it every. You've got a friend in me. What's that one? I don't know. I think that's that's how one goes. That's how one goes. <laughs> that's the one we want to submit. <laughs> Wild. You carried romance in the palm of your hand. You called the place for us. And it drove me wild. Why do you look? You just looked at me like I was disgusting. I've never, it was like I'd never heard that song before. And then I was like, she's singing our song. Yeah. One. I take one. One. One because you left me in. Two. 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 Yeah, great. Two because of a violent femmes. Violent femmes. Baby. Hit me, baby, one more time. Ooh, baby, baby. She says baby a lot on the song. I used to sing baby in my songs a lot. Mm. There's also a good, um, what's that band that they play? Like, there's like a hundred people on stage and they're so good and everyone loves them. And they, and the lead singer has a big giant, be- or J- James Murphy. LCD Sound System. LCD Sound System. Are you okay? LCD Sound System. They have a song with baby that I really like too. That's it. That's what I know. Whew. Steal. When you steal my sunshine. If you steal my sunshine. Yeah. Len. Len. Okay, great Canadian band. Big hit. Great, vi- great music video. If you steal my sunshine. That's all we can remember. Because it's kind of like a talky song. Like it's like. It's talky. I was on the hills of bulls and hills of so. And then the chorus comes in. It's like, if you steal my sunshine. Good one. You guys are going to love it. I think this should be like our tour bus drinking game. You know, this could be like, we could we could get better at this. You could have us back and we could be better than we were the last, this time. Thank you so much for watching us suffer through playing <laughs> a game we weren't very good at, which is Song Association. Don't forget to check out our new album, Cry Baby, or watch our new TV show, High School, on Amazon. And don't forget, if you want to watch more content like this, to subscribe to Elle.